Howdy, Buffalo Bart here, and welcome to a mod truck review for SnowRunner. This video I've kind of put off a few times because every time I try to get set to make a video, these guys go and add more to the mod. And it keeps getting better and better each time <laughs> they upgrade it. Um, what we're going to take a look at today is this guy the IX Wrecker and gonna do a couple th different things show a few of the um, benefits to this particular truck okay we're gonna buy it deploy it and now I already have several of them because I use them quite a bit um, as you can see it starts off with camel paint job stock tires and the only thing I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to take it out and I'm going to drive it around and then bring it right back to the garage. Simple enough, right? So let's take a look at it, the way it sits as soon as you first buy it. Uh, no add-ons. And first off, it looks really good. Lights. So, nice diamond tread on the back. You know, I don't think I've ever actually driven it in bone stock form. But, really good looking mod. Go to the interior view. Looks really nice. Of course, it would be nice to see something on the, uh, the gauges. And maybe something on the radio. And maybe the, uh, the window being down because when you do this you're sticking your head through the glass <laughs> minor little deal like the running lights it's a good clean truck and without changing anything much right now let's go ahead and pop into the garage and take a look at um, the things that I normally look at for a mod well, first off we saw in the truck store that it does have an actual icon for it very clean, nice looking uh, icon there. And if we go into truck storage, it actually has a nice custom icon. Customize. Okay. Uh, first thing, I'm not a fan of camo, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to a nice lovely red color. And you can see the, um, the bumper gets colored as well. We'll go back here. Engine choices. You have the stock engine is a Triton V10 6.8 liter. Fair enough. We're going to leave that alone for right now, but you do get uh, what I consider to be the monster engine, and this is actually the one that I primarily use in all of my setups. Gearbox. All nicely done. And this is also the one that I use pretty regular. It helps with fuel economy, durability, and combined with this engine here, here makes this pretty much the most powerful thing you can get in game right now mod truck wise while not being completely over the top suspension okay so your base soft is going to give you a little bit of springiness to it firm as you can imagine it firms things up go to jacked soft firm and heavy work this one I use pretty regular as well um, but the good thing that I found so far about this truck is the fact that you can actually go really mild or really wild and go all the way up to monster truck suspension, which I know this is kind of an, an unfortunate side effect of the way the game handles everything, but if my leaf springs look like that, I would be scared. Tires. Hmm. Not many to choose from. That's a joke. Um, yeah, quite a few different tires to choose from. The um, chain tires are what I'm using now. Um, if you just want to go for just all out, seat of the pants, just craziness. These right here, or these right here. Um, these particular 67 inch, um, they're listed as OP which they are, <laughs> and bug tires. 
will cause bugs. Now, this is true, and this is unavoidable. When you combine all the different power and the torque and everything else that these are, are putting out, what can happen when you're operating these tires will cause it sometimes to, uh, when you're trying to go forwards, it will go backwards. When you're trying to go backwards, it'll try to go forwards. It's unavoidable. So I wouldn't use these tires for hauling cargo or trying to do delicate things. But if you just want to grip it and rip it and go have a ball, the um, IX Bug tires are absolutely the best. So without changing the tires even, come down to the winch. You got your basic, which is basic, offline, which means it's going to work like a um, an electric winch instead of a PTO winch, so that you can use it whenever the engine's off. And then you've got the OP IX Extreme. And yes, this is the one that I use primarily because it does have insane range and it's pretty powerful. And yeah, I love it. Frame add-ons. This is where it gets really interesting. Okay, so you've got the wheel rack with repairs. That's going to give you some repairs. And I will say, if you're using the extreme engine gearbox and tires, the problem you're going to run into is not that of the mod truck itself. It's actually a problem with SnowRunner and the damage system. So you'll actually run out of repair points way before you'll ever run out of uh, fuel. So uh, it's something to keep in mind. You can get the um, F750 pickup bed. You got the, um, the service out on from the uh, 750. A short flatbed also from the 750 the small maintenance box which is from the Tuz 16 this is one that I'm glad they finally put on here which was the seismic vibrator module because when you're in Russia trying to do the um, the seismic missions and there's a few of them uh, you really want a good solid truck to make things a little bit easier so I was happy to see that the small sideboard bed which is nice because I believe you can also pair this with a mini crane Small fuel tank, also from the Tuz 16. Um, as you can see, it gives you 2,000 fuel. Service body from the International. The IX cargo box. Okay. Other than the weird overlapping texture issue, this thing is great because it's not going to lose your cargo if you roll over. Uh, you can roll over and over and over and over and not lose your cargo because it stays inside the box. And if you do roll over, all you have to do is just pack cargo and you're you're off again. And then the dump potty. Kind of a personal favorite. I've put a lot of miles in, inside of a real dump truck, so yeah. I love the, the red and it matches up kind of nice here in black, but when you do put it on here, it does match the body color kind of wish it was silver instead or just stay black but that's okay long bed so if you just want a clean long bed and again the default paint will change to match the color of the vehicle so don't mind the fact that it looks camo here but this is a nice custom long bed you can get it with supplies which I do recommend again because you're going to need repair points thanks to um, SnowRunner's damage model uh, eight spare wheels and 500 uh, fuel that's going to handle a lot of your like say if you go out to get your Tega in the drowned lands this has got enough fuel and repairs and spare wheels to go directly to the Tega and bam mission done now this one right here is kind of unusual it's got the same repairs and fuel and tires but, when we get some ATVs rolling in the game, and there's one or two that might fit in this category, what can happen here is you can actually activate, and you know what, I'm just going to show it. And for the unique ones, I'm actually going to go back into the, the game itself and show you what they do. Alright, so let's leave Garage. So if you've got a small ATV that you want to take to a location instead of driving it all the way out there, um, I'll let you go ahead and stop here for your vehicle options. 
and activate anchor. Now, once you're there, you can actually um, use the winch points from here to pull items up quite nicely. And then whenever you've got it loaded up there, then all you do is activate your anchor again. And done. Got to love it. So, that's cool. I really don't have a use for it at the moment, but still cool. Alright, back to our add-ons here. That was the um, ATV platform. The rollback body. This one I use quite a bit, and I get into the, I feel like doing vehicle recovery type deals. And to kind of show this a little bit better off, I'm going to bring a, um, a scout truck out. Um, let's get 1500. I know I've got a couple of them in here somewhere. Alright, this is good here. Um, this is actually the one that we use for Demolition Derby Nights. So, say you're out there playing Demolition Derby, or you're playing a hardcore mode, and... Your poor little 1500 sides, it's uh, seen its better days. So you call in the wrecker. The wrecker will come to the rescue, right? How the heck am I going to get that truck up here? Huh. Well, we can do this and activate anchor. Alright, tell me that's just not cool. Really? I mean, come on. Now, one thing I do recommend when you're doing vehicle recoveries and this is something that I do always anyway is I always go I almost said this in a terrible way but I always like to take it in the rear um, <laughs> I actually like to um, utilize the rear of vehicles that I'm going to be recovering because they're going to have a center uh, winch point and it will make life much easier. So you deploy, get your ramp going, and then you can connect your winch point to the rear there. Drag it up onto your rollback. Activate anchor. Oh, come on. Can't tell me that's not cool, right? Let's pull your winch nice and tight, and it'll hold on pretty well. Now, another thing you can do is release your winch if you want to, and uh, go to the front. And just put some tension on there. Um, but, now you're ready to... Uh, Take your vehicle wherever you need to go. I actually prefer to hook the bumper to here. And let's actually do that here to here. So you got it pretty well contained. It's close enough, just don't drive crazy. <laughs> like I usually do. So we'll activate the anchor. That's going to do that. I can actually release the winch. Truck will roll off forward a little bit, and we're good to go. Awesome. Alright, so that's the rollback bed, and that's not your only method of uh, vehicle recovery. So, let's go ahead and go back into the garage. 
And we will look at the Wrecker body, which is another favorite. So we're going to go ahead and install that. And again, we're going to go ahead and leave the garage. And our poor little 1500 is sitting there dead as a doornail, so we need to recover it. So again, we call the tow truck, or the wrecker. Alright, if you haven't already cut off this video and gone and downloaded this, this truck yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. But hopefully you'll stick around to the end of the video. So, with this one right here, you can activate anchor, and the underreach goes down and locks to the ground. Now you can take your winch and pull to here. Hmm, it won't quite reach there. So, what do we do? Well, we just use the, uh, the boom. Get a little elevation to it. Lock it in there. I'm actually going to release the winch. And connect here to here. Activate the anchor. That will happen sometimes. <laughs> but, yeah. You can also activate the crane. Pick up on the back end. And, you know, whatever I'm, pu I'm pulling like this, I will actually leave that there like that. And then... Connect it. Get a little tension on it. And then, off we go. And since the, um, the underreach actually articulates now, it uh, helps to kind of keep it locked in. If you make too sharp a turn, it will fall off, but that's just par for the course. Alright, let's go on to the next thing. So, for those of you who have been to Amandra, you're going to know that your absolute worst enemy is going to be those stupid rocks. i got to have my snorkel. I always have to have a snorkel. Hmm. Well, moving down the list here, we have our custom... I, I am 50, which is pretty strong. Uh, this was even stronger and will include a thousand repair points and a thousand fuel and 10 spare wheels. So this is my don't leave home without it. Nice little bit of uh, extra insurance for those uh, bumps in the road. And the yellow version if you want yellow instead. And of course you can get a high and low saddle which I use in quite a bit too because the same people who have put this out have created a six slot and seven slot um, trailer. So for giggles I'm going to go ahead and put on a low saddle and then we're going to move to the next thing, your exhaust. Now keep in mind that some of the things you put on the bed are going to get removed based on the type of exhaust that you're using. So I tend to like the default one because it keeps it out of the way but you do have some other options if you want to dress it up rear bumper you have the Ford mud flaps I don't know why I have three of them then also you've got the um, long bed with ATV platform I'm not sure why there's a second one but I'm sure they'll fix that um, beacons and fog lights, roof fog lights round beacon and a flasher bar. This is great if you're going to go out there and try to do some RP. Oh, wrecker's on the move. You can turn your flasher on and off now, so that's kind of a nice touch. Got a sun visor, which is also a nice little touch. Front bumper. Now this is something that's going to come into um, some importance. If you're doing mostly just light duty stuff, the I mean, cosmetic bumpers are going to be great. 
heavy duty pipe. It's a little bit small for the front of that truck, but I usually like stubby bump bumpers anyway. I almost kind of like that one too. Um, that one just looks really awesome. Slanted, that one looks really good as well um, compared to the stock bumper, which is color matched. Now, this is the, the heavy look. I kind of use this sometimes, but you've got a heavy bumper and you have an extra heavy front bumper. Why would you need those? Well, if you're doing any towing with the, um, the underreach body or the mini crane and things like that, um, I really recommend you run this extra heavy front bumper that'll keep you from popping wheelies whenever you're going down the road. Yes, I skipped one and I go back to it specifically for a reason the plow and again those of you who have been to Amandra will really really appreciate this plow um, rims you just have the stock rims and then you have the usual paints and some mild variations but yeah I don't know what's up with my truck over there Manager has one thing that will absolutely just annoy you to no end, and that will be those ridiculous rocks. Just get you out of the way there. <laughs> While we're here, um, trailer store. So with the low saddle, you can do things with the low saddle. High saddle, you can do things with the high saddle. But this will also carry scout trailers. There's a little gap in between the, uh, so you have an invisible trailer hitch, but not to worry. It still works right. Um, absolutely just awesome. This will be reviewed later in a different video. Now, it doesn't show wheels on here, but whenever you do purchase it, they will show up. Um, but you can get uh, the off-road or highway version. Again, we'll cover that later. So let's actually now get into why I like the plow and what it will mean for you whenever you're out there on the road in Amandra. And for those who haven't been to the new map of Amandra yet, you really don't know. <laughs> but those of us who have spent some quality time in Amandra will for sure know exactly why you're going to love this. Now unfortunately, the, um, the game itself, whenever you move something out of the way, like the rocks out of the way, the next time you log out and log back in, they're back in their original location. But if you're doing extended play time, like um, I generally do sometimes, eight, ten hours at a time, I've streamed this for as much as eight or nine hours at a time. But the, the whole point of this is you find those rocks in the road, this is going to handle with the, the low suspension. It's going to do a pretty good job, but you can actually see that they have nice, neat, clean plow, lift, and lower. Now, you're probably going to want to go to a little bit larger tires, which will compensate for this, but it will actually low it, lower it down so that um, you can actually scrape. And yes, it will move the, uh, the rocks out of the way. And if you just want to keep going straight, then this will actually drag them off at an angle. Now, this is not the best test of it right here. Um, those of you who have seen me play this truck on Amandra know that I absolutely love it. As you can see, even that little rock right there is getting pushed off to the side. And like I said, when you're in Amandra, absolutely essential for any kind of RP or OCD control. So, in general, I just have to say that this truck has been absolutely amazing, and I downloaded it whenever it was fresh, and I've been using it quite a bit, and no regrets whatsoever. Actually, going to put the rollback body back on here. I like the look of it. 
So, uh, my final conclusion, should you get it or should you forget it? Um, this is definitely one you should go ahead and get. If you're into mod trucks, for sure, go ahead and get it. These guys have done a great job on this truck, and I look forward to more of what they've got to come. So, I want to thank you guys and gals for watching, and we will see you soon.